Hey, what's up guys? Elliot Hells here in my office and over the years, people have sent me so many wonderful gifts. I've gotten gifts from people all over the world and sometimes I can feature them on social media, but oftentimes people send me things and uh, quite frankly, I don't really get back to them too quickly. If you look around here, it's, we're in my office and we're with my friend Jess here who's been helping me out. We've organized everything that I've gotten over the past 2014, 15, 16, 17, three years, three, four years uh, in here to with things that I have responded to because there was a time when I was really trying my best to write the letters and uh, send things out to people because that's what I always wanted to do. I wanted to acknowledge people by sending them something back. But um, I, I got busy. I just didn't have the opportunity to continue doing that. So things have been piling up in my office. And after cleaning up, we decided to organize and now if you come over here <laughs> these are a lot of the letters Jesse did a wonderful job of uh, taking I guess I'm doing this to let you know that you've been acknowledged if you've sent me a letter I'm not gonna go through each one of them right now in fact i would never gotten a chance to read to read a lot of them you know some of them I have some of them I haven't but Jess took her time to put it in this organizing it uh, organizer so that I could uh, look at them and it's interesting too sometimes people send me money which uh, <laughs> which is pretty cool this person I remember getting this this person sent this to me uh, and asked me to take it and share it with someone else so kind of like pay it forward which I thought was cool this person sent me some cash in the mail <laughs> uh, apparently he downloaded my lean hybrid muscle program uh, illegally right because that's what happens with PDFs so on and so forth. There's so many of them in here. Uh, just marked out some of them that are um, prominent. Like I've got a letter here from Shannon, who ended up becoming our our intern and our lovely Shannon at the gym. Uh, he sent that to me. Um, and then this one's from Dougie. So I get a lot of very special letters from people. In fact, this one, I remember you, man. Uh, I remember getting your device, Danny. Do you remember this? It was at yeah, the gym. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm grateful that you went with your intuition and you went for it and you created this thing. What he's trying to do is show people how to maintain neutral spine during a deadlift. Uh, but it's hard to, and you've probably watched my videos where I coach people with a dowel rod. It's difficult to spot yourself. And that's what I think our friend realized. So you decided, hey, why don't I strap one to my back? Mm -hmm. And that's what this is. You strap it to his back and it kind of gives you biofeedback. Over here, since we're just kind of looking around the table, this I got, man, I got this in about 2014. I, and uh, I was so impressed by it. Look, it, I don't even know what it says. Jess, obviously, you probably put it in here. Um, I read your letter, bro, and I was so impressed by it. I kept this in my car, in my dashboard for months, like wanting to get back to you because it, I could, I sense the passion in this one. I yeah. mean, the colors and... Uh, <laughs> I appreciate you guys. So yeah, I had it there and it also, I had it on my uh, windowsill in my office for a very long time because I was like, I'm going to get back to this guy. Well, I'm going to get back to you. Get back to you right now. <laughs> These are some things that uh, I've either just peeked into or haven't opened yet. So we'll do, we'll have a little fun. This one, I know who it's from. It's from Aaron Perry in New Zealand who came to my bioenergetic dynamic meditation camp uh, earlier this year and uh, and I knew that it had something to do with rugby as uh, it's New Zealand it's a rugger to do and I love rugby a lot of you guys might not know this I played rugby for quite a few seasons after college in Springfield Massachusetts I played look at that this is amazing. Thank you so much for sending this. I'll go play rugby again and I'll put this on. <laughs> they will laugh at me. I was watching my kids play soccer recently and I'm like, that's kind of like rugby. But they grab each other and throw each other on the ground. Here's one from Lithuania. I'm not going to put your address. I go like that. And uh, I'm always fascinated to get these ones that are from faraway lands. And, uh, and sometimes the, the mail looks very different than if I got something from the U.S., right? Like, this is clearly from the U.S. So I'm always intrigued when I see these. Articulations of the utilizations and meanings of psychedelics 
Well, why you send me this? <laughs> oh wow, man, you right on track. Well, that's wonderful. Drawing upon 15 years of profound research, so on and so forth. Is this your book? That's what I'm curious about. Julian. Julian Palmer. Well, thank you very much for sharing. I appreciate that. And we have a lending library at Strength Camp now, so a lot of the books you guys have sent me will, will become a part of Strength Camp as a part of our lending library. So I'll get to this, but it'll end up in our library. Yep. I have this, I've decided that holding on to books in particular doesn't really serve me in, anymore, but sharing ideas, and that's what the books were about, right? Books were in order to enrich myself with ideas so I could share ideas, but um, holding on to the book itself is like idol worship. Get rid of it, it's already a part of me. Here's one, it looks like it's from Amazon, so uh, a lot of times those are people's products and or just cool things like, whoa, beard brush! The Zertion! That's how you say that, right? Nothing else will do. Sandalwood Premium Comb and uh, Beard Brush. I'm going to have to do a brush up for you. Ah, this is like some shit you can put in your pocket, man. These dudes with beards, long beards, it should always be like this. Alright, I like that. I keep, it was like down in here, so I was able to comb through it, man. This one caught my eye. It's a little notebook. In fact, I was thinking I need a little notebook like this recently, actually. I've been writing a lot more lately. Pierre. Pierre Bianini. Pierre. Dear Elliot, thank you so much for taking time out of your day and uh, having me interview you. Oh, okay. So that I, we did an interview together. This was an honor, and I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Well, thank you. Uh, This is interesting. I normally send a book to those who I've interviewed. However, I know you're in more of a reflective stage of life. The journal I'm sending you is my personal favorite. I've never had a better one. Thank you. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Like I just said, I've been getting rid of my books and I've been writing more. You and I must be on the same frequency, brother. Well, this is one that I have opened before, but I am so impressed by it that I want to open it again and show it. <clears throat> oh, yeah. There, oh, wow. There's more goodies in here than I thought there were. I forgot about these extra goodies. I think these are pieces of art done by the same artist that sent this to me. He said that he was inspired by my saying the body is the mind, right? And... So he decided to uh, embody that idea that the body is the mind in this painting. Yep, I put it on Instagram once before, so I, and I know he saw it. See, you guys, you, you always leave an impression on me. It's not that there is an impression there. This one. Dude, I am so in love with this shirt. I love it. I love it, bro. I love what's happening here on so many different levels. I don't even know where to begin. But the shit's too big for me. Not a double X. Two X. Man, I'm not even going to go there. But if I put this on, I look like I have a garbage bag. This She deserves better than a garbage bag on my chest. So if you send me a XL or even an L because I'm slimming down lately, I will rock this. Here's the next one. This is from my buddy Keandre Schultz, who's a fantastic young man that came down for a barbecue I had at Strength Camp uh, when I did my first dynamic meditation workshop. And uh, he came down, I think he was like 17 at the time. That was like three, four years ago. He's a big boy, so big now that he wrote his own book. It just looks like it's some otherworldly stuff. This dude is, uh, he's brilliant, he's young, and I like what he's doing. Cool. Well, what's really fascinating is that he put my name next to J.K. Rowling's. You see that? My, my name in lights. And he calls me the tender, aggressive mentor. Make of that what you will, fellas. But that's Elliot Hulse. This one came looking like this, right? You can just imagine. Wow, what the hell is in here? And, uh, and I knew it was from out of town. It was from out of country. 
and I couldn't, it's from Amsterdam. And uh, I had it for a couple weeks until I opened it. And I was very impressed. And hopefully we meet up when, when I'm in Amsterdam later this, uh, this month. Uh, sorry I didn't reach out or get back to you, but the minute I read your letter and, and understood what it was that you sent me, I really realized that uh, you're up to some really big things, you and your father, as it relates to bioenergy and you know giving people relief, psychologically emotional relief through the body. And uh, you know, of course, I speak about dynamic meditation and bioenergetics and yoga and meditation. Um, body meditation, but you know, acupuncture, uh, as well as physiotherapy, myofascial release, things related to the muscle and tissue, also relieve us and support us in multiple different ways. And so, what this is is a uh, a, um, a device, and I don't know exactly how to use it. Jess, did you kind of take a look at? Yeah, I did. Do it's they have cool. a video or something yeah, that we could kind of? Right here. Ah, we so we have to that fill, the there's two implements, mm. that one in your right hand is an abdominal, um, like massager somehow, I don't Ooh, know how looks, it's used. That looks painful. Yeah, the one in the bag is this video here, they call it the aqua swing, and it's made specifically for your height, and... Well hang on, I'm sorry, I'm still paying attention to this to one. that one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. When I get to Amsterdam, you're gonna show me how to use this, because this has got my tension right now. The swing, yeah, I saw that. That looks pretty cool. People need to do more circular rhythmical movements in their life, this just in general. Fun. Look at this one. <laughs> yeah. So you fill it in water. This one was made for your uh, measurements because it goes by the width of your hands. Wow. Mm-hmm. So if you look at what he's doing, it's very similar to Tai Chi mm -hmm. or uh, Qi Gong movement. There's this one. These flowing movements, especially when they're coordinated with the breath, are deeply therapeutic. Thank you, man. Hopefully we meet up. This one is from Ivan Fuentes in New Jersey. Ivan sends the Book of Mormon. Jess. <laughs> yeah. He knows something. Yeah, he does. Absolutely. Yeah, I know him. Mm -hmm. Well, Jess was raised as a Mormon. Yeah, believe it or not. That's wonderful. <laughs> Oh, and I, I treasure these books. I have more Quran sent to me than any other book. Just by the way, like Christians, you're not keeping up. I need more Bibles. Hmm? Book of Mormon. This is my second Book of Mormon. Uh, I cherish these. I appreciate these. And guess what? Because, you know, you want to spread the, the testament, right? It's going to be in my Strength Camp Lending Library. Absolutely. And uh, I had a great friend who was Mormon. And uh, she really gave me a wonderful introduction to the faith. And I, I respect and I am in awe of it. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. So, we also have a little letter here from my brother. I know and feel that this book is uh, another testament of Jesus Christ. I believe you. I believe you, bro. It's all good. This is uh, not too far out of town. It's Canada. It's kind of like next door. Transoriented, a guide to love and relationship for men who love transsexual women. So if you're a transsexual woman, that actually means you're a man. Men who love transsexual women. Be a gentleman. Well, look, you know what? There are some principles in here. That's wonderful. Be a gentleman. And uh, I'm curious, was there, is there a letter that comes? There's a letter. <laughs> Thank you for helping me become the strongest version of myself. The reason I wrote this book is when I came out as trans-oriented, I had no resources to help guide me. I had to make all the mistakes on my own and learn the hard way. I've, de I've decided to create the resource I wish I had back then, absolutely, to help guide other men like me in their quest for love and relationships with trans women. This book is my attempt to make the lives of trans women everywhere just a little better. If I can help men who are truly interested in relationships with trans women be better boyfriends and husbands, if a trans woman gets treated like a lady instead of a curious a circus freak, 
If these women have a slightly easier time finding men who will truly love them, I will have done my job. I will have improved the lives of my girls, the girls I love so much. Bro, absolutely. I mean, this is what it's all about, right? This is 100% about being the strongest version of yourself, but fulfilling, empowering others. That's what the other half is, dude. And as you became truly you, you thought, how can I do it to support others? How can I help others? And that's what this is about. But that's what a, a, my videos are about. That's what the message is all about. You're totally doing it. Trans dude, props to you. Thank you.